What's up guys? Today I'm excited to share with you the best keto pizza you've ever had. Before we get started, crush your keto by subscribing. That way you don't miss any of my helpful tips, recipes, and hacks I'll provide on my channel. Now let's get into it guys. This is so good. This keto pizza is so good. It's a keto fathead pizza dough recipe okay it's really simple um but i mean it's as good as regular pizza or better like even a couple of my friends have tried it and they've just been like this is phenomenal okay so anyway it's very simple all you're going to need for the crust two eggs cream cheese mozzarella cheese shredded and coconut flour my favorite um, and also, I know I haven't made that video about why I prefer coconut flour over almond flour, but I will be making that video soon, and I'll share that with you on my, you know, my experience with both and, you know, how I feel about both, okay? So, look for that video to come out soon. Now, towards the end, after we get this crust made, I'll share with you a few hacks that you can do to really make, to really top this off to make it taste phenomenal for you um, with the crust, okay? So, you know, I'm sure you maybe have tried cauliflower crust pizza. It's something I've tried. It's good, but this is so, so much better in my opinion, okay? And there's there's just a lot more opportunity. It's more like it's, it's real crust and it tastes like real pizza, okay? First, make sure you preheat your oven to 425. Okay, next, you're gonna need a large bowl. Also, you're gonna need a baking sheet with parchment paper on it, okay? Now you're gonna take one and a half cup mozzarella cheese, shredded. Make sure you get the whole milk cheese, especially if you're doing keto, the more fat, the more full you're gonna stay. So don't forget that, don't go for that skim milk, okay? One cup and a half. Half a cup. Okay, so there's my one and a half cup of mozzarella shredded cheese. Next, you're gonna take two tablespoons of cream cheese. You're gonna to toss that into your shredded mozzarella cheese. Next, you're gonna microwave this for 90 seconds, stirring halfway through. A few moments later. 90 seconds is up. You just wanna give that another stir. Stir it up a little bit more. Next, you're gonna take your two eggs. Crack those in. Then you're only gonna need one third cup of coconut flour, which is another reason I love coconut flour. It just does not take very much, which is awesome. Okay, so here's my one third cup of coconut flour. I'm simply gonna dump that into the bowl that I just put the eggs in, okay? And then I'm gonna show you here. All you're gonna simply do Next, all you're gonna do is take that dough, the eggs, and just turn it with your hand, okay? Mix it up. And something you can put on your fingers, a little bit of olive oil, to help not have that dough sticking to your fingers. Something I didn't do this time, I kind of forgot that, but keep that in mind. If you want to put a little bit of olive oil on your fingers, you'll get that dough to not stick to your fingers. Okay guys, so I've just got this about mixed up. Just trying to pick up all the... And you could just, you could, you could steer in, or... Now you could stir the eggs in first before you stick your hands in there, it's whatever. But just make sure you get it all mixed up. And I feel like I just can mix it up a lot better once I just make it into a dough. Okay, now you can see here, I mean it's perfect. And I did put some olive oil on my hands to help from the dough from sticking and it just comes out perfect. Okay, next guys, what you're gonna wanna do is put this dough down onto some parchment paper, kind of spread it out, and then you can get another piece of parchment paper put on top and roll this dough out better, especially if you have a roller. I don't have a roller, I'm just gonna use some whatever I have, basically. Okay, so if you just cover your dough with parchment paper, now it's gonna allow you to really spread that dough out, and you're gonna have a lot more pizza to eat. I don't have a rolling pin, like I said, we don't have that, but. This works. There's how much dough I have out. 
I mean, it's pretty thinned out. You could add more. If you want a bigger pizza, obviously you just, you know, just bring those ingredients up, uh, however much more you're gonna want. But the key to this is gonna be now to top, the, you know, your toppings. Okay guys, so here's what it looks like after I got it rolled out, as you can see. Now, something that you can do at this point is if you prefer like a garlicky buttery crust or you prefer maybe olive oil on it, you know, there's different things you can use that you typically would get on your pizza. Now's the time to put that on. So what I'm gonna do is melt some butter and then I'm gonna sprinkle, sprinkle some garlic on it and it's just gonna really taste phenomenal with the ingredient, with the toppings that I'm gonna put on, okay? Now let's talk toppings here. So whatever you're gonna to top your pizza with, obviously whatever cheese you prefer, whether it's mozzarella, maybe it's a blend, um, you know, a, like a lasagna blend or an Italian blend, you know, whatever you're gonna do, right? So just top your, your pizza with, you're gonna to top your pizza with that. You're gonna use a low carb um, pizza sauce. And then also whatever toppings, right? So you can do ham, sausage, uh, pepperoni, uh, jalapenos, you know, whatever you want to go with, right? And then top your pizza. And I'm telling you, this is going to come out tasting phenomenal. It's you're not going to miss pizza. You're not going to be like, oh my gosh, I can never have pizza because I'm doing keto. This is pizza and it's super good, okay? So just make sure, make sure that you do the toppings that you love to really make that pizza the best it can be for you and, and you know, your cravings that you have, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so here's the finished product. It looks great. Again, I just went with pepperoni. I'm just going to be sharing this pizza here with my wife, so I just kept it simple. But you can add whatever you want on top of your favorite toppings and really have a phenomenal taste in pizza. So, Okay, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if there's an ingredient that you feel I should have added or, or something that's worked better for you, or if you tried this, comment below. Just let me know where you're at. Let me know where you're at in your keto journey. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching.